Hello! Welcome to the Rogues Gallery. I am Rogan. Uh, welcome to Saturday. Um, it is our day for retro game. Uh, because I don't know. That's what I do. Anyway. <laughs> Today, the, the plan for today is uh, to die, to die, to die back into Ultima 4, uh, the quest of the Avatar. Um, hi, Hannah. Hi, Organ Mike. <laughs> uh, hopefully, your day is going well. Uh, we finally had to turn our heat on, <clears throat> which generally fine. It's nice to not be frigid all day inside, uh, but the humidity has reduced, and my eyes and my nose and my throat are very unhappy with that. So, <clears throat> if I clear my throat a bit or cough a bit, it's mostly because the air is really dry now. Um. <clears throat> also, Today is my last stream during Daylight Savings Time. Uh, so, today's stream started at the normal time on during Daylight Time. Tomorrow's stream at 1 p.m. will be an hour off for anyone who does not change clocks week. <clears throat> uh, for me... Tomorrow starts Eastern Standard Time, um, meaning that I change my clocks back by an hour this this evening. Um, so what would have been one o'clock for me will now be happening at what would have been two o'clock for me. If I'm my brain is calculating correctly. So basically, if you are in a location that does not change your clocks tonight. <clears throat> My stream will start an hour later for you. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I, I think that's how it works. I don't know. I have too many clocks and watches that I have to change, but that doesn't mean I do it correctly or all at the same time. So... <clears throat> and honestly, I haven't changed my watch in years because I haven't worn my watch in years. And I have a lot of lovely watches that I really like, and I just haven't haven't bothered with them. Batteries died or the bands broke, and um, when I was in a city, it was easy to get them fixed. It is not so easy. Time is a weird soup. Yes, indeed, indeed. Time is a soup. Um, yeah, the plan... Uh, the plan for stream today is Ultima 4, and we have one more virtue to achieve, uh, so I'm going to be finding beggars and giving them money, hoping that that will get me to be compassionate. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I also need to get into some fights to earn some money. And, but mostly to earn some points, because uh, I still need one more party member. Uh, so if I can get into some fights and level up at some point, um, I can go back to Magencia and find this person I apparently missed and get them to join the party. But I also think it might be time to try a dungeon. Ooh. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's the general shape of, of things today. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I don't have anything special going on this evening, like, raid right into. Um, Saturday I, I typically don't, so, um, that's fine. Tomorrow on Sunday I would usually be hyping the Gact Pack, but they're done until next year. So, I don't know. Um, Monday, I will, of course, uh, be continuing with American Mickey's Alice, and immediately following will be episode two of, uh, the Streampunks 
new uh, Spelljammer game, uh, Star Jam. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, okay, Wednesday for the archive stream is Pioneering Women Architect. So I pulled a couple of collections with that theme to look at on Wednesday. The A lot of my free time the past couple days has been in Animal Crossing. Uh, I've been tearing down my island to rebuild my island, and right now I'm very unhappy with the geographic layout of my island, and I really just want the game to reset the, like... I, I wish I could push a button and have the game just give me new geography, leaving all of the things on my island. Just randomize them. But with me having to start with a terraformed island, tear it down, and re-terraform it, I don't know what to do. Um, so a little frustrated there. Um, <clears throat> I'll get through it eventually, but right now I'm just unhappy with everything and it all costs too much money. Um, <laughs> you're currently on Animal Crossing, thanks to Eric's stream yesterday. You ended up buying the DLC! I technically have access to the DLC because... I got, um, I wanted the N64 games, and the DLC came with the upgrade to Nintendo Online. So I have access to it, but I haven't, I don't even know if I need to, I may have to go and, like, install it, um, but I haven't tried. Because... If I can't figure out what to do with my own island, what? If, why would I want to go and design? I don't know. I think it'll. I think it would just frustrate me more because I would be able to do these wonderful designs with full access to all of the items in the game on the DLC island, but not on my own, and that would just really frustrate me. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see. I. I don't know if I will continue too much longer, or if I will play as much as I have been. Um, we'll see. I... I think I just need to do maybe an hour at most per day, because I'm finding the game frustrating. <laughs> and that's not what you want from a game. Uh, so I may just go back to playing Stardew. I technically also have access to the Lost Ark uh, closed technical beta, and I launched into it today, and my initial reaction to it was not favorable. Um, so I'm not even sure I want to open the beta again. Um, I know it's a beta, and it's a, it's a technical beta. Um, the game itself been fine on my system, and honestly, I don't do really well at reading text in games unless I'm streaming and reading it out loud for the audience. Um, so it's got some some voice and a lot of text, uh, and I, so I skipped a lot of the text because I really just wanted to get to the like actual gameplay mechanics and see how it, how it functioned. And as far as, like, fighting style, it's really similar to, like, Diablo or something like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't really like the control scheme. But the thing that really turned me off was right up front character creation. They have a mage class, and the mage, like, all, all the characters are styled in the um, JRPG style. So the um, female presenting characters are, like big-breasted with large boob windows. Um, and the mage class is only female, and the warrior class is only male, uh, and they all of the gender stuff in the character creation is binary. It's male or female. Um, and so just generally turned off right from the start in the character creator, because the class I would want to play is a big-breasted female with a skimpy skirt and a boob window, and I don't want to look at that. So, 
I ended up creating a warrior, which is not a class that I would want to play normally. Um, and yeah, it was fun-ish, like being able to swing the sword and, and do damage, but it was just like, this isn't what I wanted to play. Plus, up at the, at the very beginning, they, you select an outfit and you do your hair and, and what like stuff like that. And while they had minimal options for that, the outfit I put on the guy actually showed off his chest, which was like, yeah, cool. Uh, and I gave him long purple hair, and then immediately the very first thing it had me do was select an advanced class, because in the beta I'm guessing they're starting you off. Like, I, I think I was at like level 10 or something, so they're starting you off later. Um, and as soon as I did that, suddenly I had a helmet on, and full armor, and I'm like, well, what was the point of having me customize my character if I don't even get to see what the customizations that I made? So, um, <laughs> well, Kira, there are a couple of options for what, what I could have been talking about for the phrase boob windows to come up. Uh, JRPGs or Klingons. Uh, the phrase boob windows is equally valid in either case, but, um, if you're not familiar with JRPGs, uh, they're basically computer games that are done in kind of the classic... Uh, shonen jump anime style where the female characters are drawn with very large breasts that have and their clothing is impractical to say the least um so yeah uh <laughs> i that's that's kind of what i was referring to anyway um I don't know. The closed beta is going until the 11th. I may pop into it again just to see But I was really turned off as soon as I jumped into the game by the extremely gendered character creation process um, and the over-sexualization of the female characters in the game. Um, <clears throat> and I get that that's typical for JRPG style. It's just not what I wanted to look at. And seriously, if you're going to give me a mage class, give me a mage class that's open to any of the characters. I, unless there's a specific reason, which in an MMO, why would there be a specific reason that the mage can only be played by females? Like, it doesn't make sense uh, in this day and age to lock character classes to specific genders. I don't know if that is something that is to be changed as they move towards an open beta and full launch, but it was a big turnoff for me as soon as I opened the game. So I will, I will share that feedback with Amazon uh, Game Studio <laughs> when I fill out some feedback on the closed technical beta for this game. Um, Cause yeah, I, I was not. Um, <clears throat> anyway, how about we do some, uh, some questing as future Avatar? We're so close. So close. We just need compassion. And all of the stone. And better armor and weapons and an 8th party member. And but we're so close to getting, like, that last one. To, to being compassionate. Um, so how to be compassionate? Uh, alright. Let me make sure you all can see everything. I believe that you can. Let us journey onward. Sorry, I'm hiccuping a little. <clears throat> Hopefully you can't hear that. Where am I? I'm up by Minoc. Oh yeah, and I can't get to that boat. Why, why am I by Minoc? Oh, because I went through the moon gate here to get to the last shrine that we went to. The shrine that required me to go through this gate. Okay. This is me trying to remember what I did last week. Um, I should look at the spreadsheet since I give myself notes there between between Saturdays um, to, to remind me of what I'm doing. 
Um, I don't think you all can. Well, my note just says, be compassion incarnate. Which was, I guess, my way of telling me that I should focus on compassion. So, yeah. Um, compassion is written. Literally, the town I started in is going to be the last virtue I get. The, t the virtue... There's a poorhouse in Minoc. I will head there. But, like, the virtue that is associated with my character's class is the one we still need to get. It's literally, like... The mechanics for gaining compassion in this game, what do they have to do with being a bard? Not exactly a criticism, it's just mostly like the bards are associated with compassion, but like the methods for getting compassion points are running away from non evil enemies and donating to the poor. What does that have to do with being a bard? Although, my brain immediately went to, uh, what does donating blood have to do with being a tinker? That is, that is true, yes. My brain went to, um, Sir Robin's Bards in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Brave Sir Robin ran away, randomly ran away, away. I don't think I got the music right there. Oh, wait, there's one behind me? I didn't even see that at me. <clears throat> Why is my brain doing that song wrong? Oh well. I think I'm gonna... Like, we have the heater on, and it's not, like, on all the time. It's not super bad. Um, I think I'm gonna have to break out the humidifier now, too, because... Ever since we turned on the heater, I keep waking up and apparently I've had my mouth open while sleeping. And uh, so my entire mouth is completely dried out when I wake up, which is not great. <clears throat> so if the air was more humid, at least if I slept for hours with my mouth open, um, I wouldn't dry out quite so much, I hope. I don't know. <clears throat> Alright, we don't have a lot of gold, but we will give away what we have, and then go fight more enemies, give away more gold. I don't know how much I have to give. <clears throat> Bob the beggar! Give. Give. 90. Give. I can't give three digit numbers. Nope. <laughs> I've given away all of my money to Bob the Beggar. There's a beggar in Britain too, right? <clears throat> I think there is. Because I want to be near Britain. Or... Where did I leave my bow? Oh wait, no, I traveled here by Moongate, didn't I? I really have no idea where my boat is. Oh dear.
you know, I, I take a lot of notes with this game. You'd think I would keep a note of where I leave my boat. But if you did think that, you would be wrong. Because I absolutely did not. Alright, um... Let's... Let's get back to Britain. But we need to kill things along the way. Ooh! This looks fun! Oh dear, that's a lot of them! Well, I need the experience points if I'm going to ever recruit the shepherd. Shooting into the blank spaces is not usually the strategy for killing things, especially with the character that you want getting the experience points. Library. Welcome to the Rogues Gallery. I am Rogan. I am in the middle of a battle at the moment. Um, so I will say hello more fully in a moment. But welcome in to um, Retro Roguery, which is my sta Saturday um, gaming stream where I play retro games. Um, honestly, it's just been the um, Ultima video game series, starting with Ultima 1, we're currently on Ultima 4, Quest of the Avatar. Um, and doing pretty well in the game. Um, Kira, thank you so much for giving a shout out to Librarian Liz. If anybody is not already following Librarian Liz, you should definitely give uh, them a follow over at twitch.tv slash Librarian Liz. Um, Currently, Liz is reading through the Animorphs books, um, or at least the first of the Animorphs books um, on their channel, and uh, having never read them before myself, um, and Liz also having never read them before, I, I find that they are quite interesting. Um, I, I know it's a good time, uh, and occasionally Liz also does gaming streams, um, so it's not just book reading, but... Um, it's a good time. <laughs> Liz Doodles, thank you for the follow! <laughs> oh, you just finished the book one! Awesome! Um, and Liz usually ends up raiding over here on Saturdays, so we get to say hello to Liz quite often. Um, kind of a, a train of, um, Stream Punks associated people on Saturday because uh, we start off with um, Bill Emily and then Librarian Liz and then often me and then I usually end up heading over to Bree Danan on Saturday. Um, and so it's a whole day. It's it's lots of fun. Uh, <laughs> Hi Liz Doodles, how are you doing today? Um, Oh dear, did somebody- oh no, they're just- Shimino's just asleep. I, I'm immediately into a second battle, and um, oh, the Zorn is dead. Yes, good. Uh, let's take care of this beholder. It's a gazer, sorry. A gazer is a subtype of beholder. Um, okay. Now I can officially welcome you in, in a- more the way that I would. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm Rogan. Welcome to the Rogues Gallery. Um, this is my channel. I, I stream four times a week. Um, on Sundays, I'm streaming Mass Effect. Uh, I'm currently at the very beginning of Mass Effect 2. On Wednesday, I stream from the archives at Virginia Tech. Um, and this coming Wednesday, um, I will be sharing uh, items from collections about uh, pioneering women architects. Um, and on Saturdays, oh, I skipped Mondays, but we'll come back to that in a second. Saturday, I stream, 
uh, Retro Games currently playing the Ultima series. I started at Ultima 1. We're currently on Ultima 4. Um, <clears throat> Mondays is kind of, it, Monday is um, Mystery Mischief Monday, where I spin a wheel to decide what we're going to play. Um, currently, we're playing American Mickey's Alice on Mondays. And once we're finished with that, I'm going to spin the wheel and see what we play next. Um, so uh, my, all of that should be in my schedule um, on my about page, although I think that Mystery Mischief Monday has which game we're playing wrong because I keep forgetting to update it, but <laughs> I just told you. So um, welcome in. It is great to have all of you here. Um, and yeah, whether you chat or just hang out, it is it is always a great time having you here. And um, I will, because people will yell at me if I don't uh, mention I have a bits goal. Um, this is my goal for November and December. I just decided to combine them together, so that is there. I also have uh, coffee if you want to support me that way. Um, the address is there. So if you choose to do that, great. But I appreciate having you here whether you do or not. All right. Um, and if you have any questions, about the game or about any of what I just said, feel free to ask because I do enjoy um, chatting while I play the games. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, no, get the gold. I need the gold so that I can give it to beggars. <laughs> the, the title of the stream today is How to Be Compassionate because I have one more virtue to master um, in order to progress toward the end of the game, and that virtue is the one associated with the bardic town of Britain, uh, and that virtue is compassion. Um, and somewhat ironic, since my character is a bard, uh, that that is the last virtue I have to get. Right. Somehow there's a way through here. Who is this my boat? Heck yeah! I found my boat! <laughs> That's good, because that means I don't have to poison myself when I go to the Compassion Shrine. Amazing! Oh, this is my boat in Lock Lake. Well, drat. <clears throat> also... Yes! Oh, good! As much as I hate being ambushed by attacks, I need I need the gold, and this will give me gold. <coughs> well, I'm not ready to go to the shrine yet. I don't know. I was just... It's okay. I'm actually trying to find an overland route to Britain at the moment. Um... I'm not sure there is one from Minoc to Britain. I might have to go back up to Minoc and take the moon gate. <clears throat> Just head west. Actually, I, if I boat across Lock Lake, that should get me to Britain. I don't want lava li lizards escaping. I want to kill the lava lizard. Now there's lava on my boat. That's that's not a great thing. <clears throat> really not good to have lava on your boat. I mean, it's more cosmetic in this game, but probably not a great thing to have lava on my boat. Especially because the boat is wood. <clears throat> Build another. Right now, I'm trying to level up my main character, Aokan. Um, in order to... 
I need one more level before I can recruit the final party member, and I need to have all of the party members, apparently, in order to beat the game. Um, at least that's what the game manual implied, was that I would need all of them. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh man, that lava lizard is fully in cover. I can't attack it where it's currently at. That's frustration. Hey, lizard. Move your butt. I can't attack it. I can. I just have to move. The stream music makes it sound much more dramatic. I forgot again! I was gonna try and get the actual soundtrack to play in the background, um, but I forgot to look for it again. Because that would be details that I would need to actually pay attention to between stream and apparently that's something that is difficult to do occasionally. Uh, exit boat. Get chest. Yes! Alright, let's let this skeleton attack me. Ooh, and a wizard! I generally have tried to avoid fights in this game, but I need the- I need the money. Of, of pushing the left arrow, and I pushed the left arrow when I wanted to push the up arrow. <clears throat> Ludan! Thank you so much for resubscribing for your third month and for using your Prime subscription on me! <laughs> enjoy your lurk and enjoy your soccer game! I don't know a whole lot about soccer, but, um... I hope that your team is doing well, um, and that a goal is scored. My understanding of soccer is there's a lot of pretending to be hurt and not a whole lot of goals. So, I'm not certain what to do. Aw, oh, man! on me. I played soccer as a kid um, when I lived in Hawaii, which was like kindergarten age. Um, and I say I played soccer, but it would be more accurate to say I ran around on the soccer field while the game was being played, pretending to be an airplane. Um... <laughs> So I don't know a whole lot about soccer, even though technically I was on a soccer team. <laughs> um, I know that running was obligatory on our soccer field, because if you stood still for too long, the fire ants would bite your feet and legs. Um, so if you kept running though, they would leave you alone. And you really don't want to be bit by a fire ant. Um, that is not a pleasant experience. Oh. I passed on the wrong player. And immediately into a battle with a bunch of Ettons and some demons. I think they're demons, not Balrog. So 
the reason that we have pretzel rocks, uh, for anyone who is unfamiliar, the reason that we have pretzel rocks rather than the actual game soundtrack is that the GOG DOSBox version of this game is the IBM version of it. And the IBM version of this game did not have the soundtrack. Uh, the Commodore 64 version, and I believe the Apple version had the soundtrack, but the IBM version did not. And since this is a port of the IBM version, it doesn't have the soundtrack. <clears throat> and there were mods that added the soundtrack uh, to the DOSBox version of the game. Um, but those mods were made in 2000 for Windows 7 and do not function in 2021 on Windows 10. So, no soundtrack. It's sad because uh, the mods for Ultima 3 worked fine and I was able to get the, uh, the soundtrack for Ultima 3. Hopefully Ultima 5 we will have the soundtrack. I actually, the other day, I was um, just in the kitchen making breakfast or lunch, something like that. Um, it may have been yesterday even. Uh, and I just randomly started humming, and the song that I started humming was the, the like, harpsichord theme or whatever that you have to play in Ultima 5. I don't really remember the game very much, I don't remember why you have to play that tune, and at the moment, like right now, here on this Saturday, I can't remember what the tune is, but yesterday I just started randomly humming and started humming that tune, because it's, it's in there. I'm not, I'm not saying I can bring it up on command, but it's there in my brain. How many treasure chests did I leave sitting around? I don't remember what the song is, like Lord British's or something like that, I don't. Take out this Zorn. It also doesn't help that I have other music playing in my ears right now to remember- Rykar! Thank you so much for the thousand bits! And hello! How are you doing this fine Saturday? I have a party of seven struggling to take out one Zord. It is very nice to see you. Um, I think I mentioned earlier at the top of stream, uh, but I'll mention again because I know there are viewers who <clears throat> watch me from uh, across the Atlantic, um, and I don't remember exactly who is there and who is not, um, but my clocks changed tonight, so... Um, we will be synced back up to the time that I was at before for all of those people who were in, um, like, say, Britain and changed their clocks last week, uh, causing us to be out of sync. Um, after tonight, we will be back in sync because I will be in Eastern Standard Time instead of Eastern Daylight. Uh, Why we still change our clocks, I do not know. It seems more hassle than it's worth. It has documented health um, effects uh, causing people to um, have more heart attacks and get in more car accidents when the clocks change. Uh, so 
and it doesn't actually have any benefit. Like, the original benefits are no longer useful now, um, because modern technology obviates a lot of the reasons that it was created in the first place. Um, so, it has lots of negatives, it's an outdated policy, and doesn't really have any current positives, and yet we still do it. <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> it's all chaos! And we don't change on the same day because candy retailers wanted to be able to sell more on Halloween in the US. I did not know that that was the reason behind it. That is hilarious. But also, like, if we changed clocks on Halloween, at least we would get 13 hours of Halloween. Or, like, it wouldn't be, it'd be 25 hours, but there'd be a 13 o'clock. You could have a 13 o'clock if we changed clocks on Halloween. Like, that would be much more fun than, and, and make people possibly appreciate having that extra hour on Halloween if that extra hour was 13 o'clock. Um, but no. You did change on Halloween and it was nice. An actual witching hour. It's the real reason. No 13th hour. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. And they've reduced the amount of time that we actually spend in standard time. Um, so now standard time only goes from November until like March. And it used to last a lot longer. So that standard time is no longer the standard and daylight time is the standard now. Uh, which just makes things even more confusing because of the naming of the, the different times. Um, have I gone past the castle? I don't know where I am. I think I may be beyond the castle. So my throat is somewhat raw from having been very dry because the heater is on now, and so I apologize for clearing my throat. But if you did not know, I have a body. And sometimes that body reacts poorly to things, like turning on the heater and having the air dry out. I also burned my tongue this morning on some hot chocolate. But that's because I drink hot things much too fast, which is why I don't drink hot things very often. I like hot chocolate. Uh, I always burn my tongue. Always. 100% of the time, <coughs> give me a hot beverage and I will burn my throat. Or my, my tongue. Possibly my throat, but definitely my tongue. Oh man. My brain didn't catch up to my finger there. I want to step out of the battle. I wanted to have me kill the trolls! Because I want the experience points so that I can get the last party member, please! please, please. Good, nice, kind, good, nice. I stopped commenting because my brain started concentrating on what I was doing. 
instead of just a steady flow of non-stop banter. Uh, or nonsense work? I don't know. Let's see. Where the heck am I? Bridge over water. Where am I? Is that the first bridge? I don't know. I could use methods in the game to actually figure out where I am, but no, I'm just gonna run around until I figure it out because I need the money. So the battles are not bad. They couldn't justify moving it a week, so they added a whole month, of course. <coughs> So, who all in the chat has been playing the update to Animal Crossing? And what do you think of it? I'm going to hear what you all think before I tell you what I think. <coughs> Although, I did talk a little bit about it at the beginning of stream. share my thoughts. Uh, overall, it's fine. I bogged myself down in trying to make changes to my island that have frustrated me, mostly because of the mechanics of the game and it making it take super long to do anything. Um, <clears throat> so I've actually been doing quite a bit of time traveling the last two days. Um, just so that I could move buildings where I needed them to go in order to do the terraforming. Which, if I didn't do the time traveling, I would forget what I was trying to do terraforming-wise. Um. So. I'm doing a lot of that. The other thing, like, I like the new island that you can visit to with Cap. Um. It's annoying that I can only go once a day, though. Because they finally gave a mechanic where it's possible to get some of the things if, if you need something that's out of season, you could end up on an island that would let you get them. But you can only take that trip once a day, and like the first couple of islands that I've gone to have all been in fall, with nothing new or interesting on them. It's like... Well, I could have got this island if I took the airplane. Um, so, overall, my experience with the uh, update to Animal Crossing 2.0 has not been super great, but <clears throat> I'm sure it will improve if I spend a little bit of time actually playing um, instead of just terraforming. It's a game that, for me, it's not a game that I would just sit down and play. But if I'm watching a show or something, uh, if I have something else going on in the background, um, then that's the kind of game that I can play without really paying attention to the game um, and just have it be something that I can do while I'm doing something else. Because I don't really have to pay attention to any sort of story in Animal Crossing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, easy to play while doing something else. Um, whereas, like, an RPG or, like, this game. I couldn't play this game while doing something else because I have to pay attention 
to um, the story, like, to the point where I even have to take notes in this game so that I remember things. Um, but Animal Crossing is just, like, run around and do stuff. Yeah, I, I don't have to pay enough attention to that, but I can't do that. What I really want is a way to kick a villager off of my frickin' island! I have one villager who was a random villager that showed up, and I cannot get rid of him. Every other villager has asked to leave my island <clears throat> since I got this villager, and this villager has not. Really just want them gone because they're annoying and I would like somebody else. Um, <clears throat> they are apparently one of the least liked villagers, and so I was absolutely willing to give them a try. I was like, oh, they're probably not as bad as everybody says. I really just don't like them. It's Rodney. I have not allowed anyone else to leave since this villager got there. Because I don't want any of the others to leave. He's the only one that I want gone. They won't ask. Lastin is locked! That's frustrating. <clears throat> well, and forcing them out with a camper is also random, who, th who they'll ask to remove, so I will try that. I don't get campers very often. Somebody, if I knew somebody that had like an amiibo card uh, and would let me borrow it, I would totally do that just to kick him out. Is the amiibo card you can choose who leaves. At least that was my understanding. But at the same time, those weren't available for like most of last year. You do, Kira. Um, I, if you'll let me borrow one, I would very much like to so that I can get somebody better than Rodney. Hello Kitty ones I don't think will work in Animal Crossing. Like, they, these specifically would have to be the amiibos for the Animal Crossing here. Where the heck am I? Oh, they do! Okay. Yeah, no, if you'll let me borrow, that would be awesome. River Mountain. <clears throat> be lost, like... Okay, I'm not super familiar with... I don't know what Sanrio is either. <laughs> Okay, this thing just needs to die, because I don't like it when they put my entire party to sleep. The, oh, the brand behind Hello Kitty and other cute Japanese things. Gotcha. Oh, okay, so like the little dog, the, the dog like outfit that uh, Eric was wearing on stream yesterday. Gotcha. And the, like the bed in the creepy bedroom. 
with the rainbow on it. Yes, I see. <clears throat> That would be awesome, Kira. I've never used an amiibo of any sort with my uh, Twitch, but I really just want this one Animal Crossing character gone. He is making my experience less enjoyable. But I don't really want any of the others gone. The others are all fine. Past cure. All right. <clears throat> I need to figure out where I am. I was up by the lake. And I came south. Or no, I came over this way. Through the mountain. Now I'm at... Am I all the way down here? I think I might be all the way down here. Sideways river. Between two mountains. I, I think I'm way far south. southwest of Britain. Thank you, Mike. Uh, yeah, Hannah, um, Twitch is not great about notifying people that people they follow are live. I don't know why that is. Uh, it's built-in functionality, and it's supposed to do it, but <clears throat> there are some streams that I specifically have notifications turned on, and I have never received a notification for it's going to be pause, but we'll see. I, I will switch fit for purpose. We're just not sure what that purpose is. At least it's not Facebook's beta verse. I saw some YouTube commentary of of their corporate announcement of the metaverse, and oh my god, the clips that they shared were just super cringe. Like, the product itself is super derivative of Second Life, um, feels like it was fully fleshed out much better in um, Neil Stevenson's Snow Crash, um, and not anything that anybody's actually asking for, but the presentation of it was horrendous. Like, gosh, I don't know that I've ever seen such a bad corporate presentation in my life. Look, it's pause. <clears throat> Is there a beggar in pause? Oh, definitely. Like, Meta... And, in fact, Facebook... So, I, my guess is that they're not gonna be able to make a, a case on this breach of trademark thing, um, simply because uh, Facebook owned a company called Meta that they shut down to repurpose the name for their corporate umbrella. So they already had the name. Um, it was an academic data mining company, if I remember my details correctly. Thank you. 
But yeah, um, I used to be concerned about Facebook data, and now I'm concerned about metadata. I'm also a librarian, uh, so, you know, I was concerned with metadata before, but <laughs> concerned with and concerned about are two different things in this context. But yeah, if you've not seen their um, announcement video for Metaverse, and you feel like watching something truly horrifying, um, it's out there. They also, um, in the video, they talk about a game. I think it's, I, I, I can't remember what platform it's supposed to be for, but they mention a game and they talk about it as a sm basically a smash hit. I don't remember the exact phrasing that they said, but they talk about how popular this game is and oh, so many people love this game. I had never heard of this game in my life. Um, it is a game called Arizona Sunshine? Uh, it appeared to be some sort of zombie game from the graphic that they had, but I was like, literally have never heard of this game. And I spent quite a bit of time paying attention to games, considering that I stream them. And I don't just stream retro games, although that's primarily what I stream, but I also stream brand new games. Never heard of this game <clears throat> that they were talking about how how beloved it was and how but they also like this was a video that was primarily targeted towards the public and they kept talking about earnings figures and that was just like no not a great look don't talk about how much money each of these things has made. Why would you think that the public wants to know that? Um, it was just really bad. They were trying to do like an Apple style um, product launch introduction-y thing and they really missed the mark. Oh, great, we're all asleep. I might die. One of them woke up! And I'm actually landing hits now! Before I was not hitting them. <clears throat> Apparently, I needed a nap to improve my aim. Stop! Stop! Raya, come on, that demon was heavily wounded. Take it out! Oh jeez, Dupree. Uh, Cass... Heal on Dupree. <clears throat> okay, this battle, not going so great for me. I think we will win, and I don't think anyone's going to die, but wow, this battle's not been great.
going to press. Uh, Alright, I'm going to pause the game for a second. I need to take a quick bio break. So give me just a couple of minutes and I will be right back. Uh, feel free to get up and stretch, grab a beverage, use the restroom, and I will see There it is. I have returned. Welcome back. Hopefully you were able to stretch, get a beverage, restroom, and hopefully you're back for more Ultima 4. Um, <clears throat> we're doing fairly good on gold for donating to beggars. Um, I now know where we're located since we were just at pause. So... Time to head to Britain. Also, I grabbed some pretzels because um, my throat was feeling very scratchy and making me need to clear my throat a bit. These are helping.
Yeah, I know I know how to get to Britain from here, but <clears throat> but thank you. And yeah, pretzel rocks? Sure. So many bad guys. This is what traveling overland does for you. Now we get to fight the Hydra. And honestly, all of my characters need to level up because I avoided fighting so much. Five gold. Skeletons following me now. Thieves in front of me. <laughs> Is this guy evil or not? If I run away, do I get passion points? I would argue that rogues are um, chaotic, not evil. <laughs> Considering that uh, y'all are rogues in my rogues gallery. <laughs> but in this game, yes, I understand that rogues are evil. I wish I knew how to get townsfolk to attack me. <laughs> so, the pretzels I grabbed are my absolute favorite. Um, and likely not available to most of you. There are a couple who will Vorpal in you, Mike. There's a bull in you. The bull has definitely attacked me. Do any of you live in areas where Utz brand chips are available. Utz is spelled U T Z. Because <clears throat> I grew up in the DC area, and so I grew up with Utz chips. Um, and their sourdough specials are probably my favorite thing. <laughs> For snack food period. Um, I really just, I struggle to stop eating them once I start. So many enemies! But like, most people, snack food, pretzels, would think of, like, Snyder's or Hanover, um, or rolled gold, and, okay, they just don't compare to us. And actually, it's, it's silly, it's one of the, one of the brands, like, one of the only brands where I follow their corporate mascot on social media. I don't know why I do. <clears throat> they don't even really post all that much. And they're not like like Wendy's. Wendy's uh, was really good at like Twitter for a while. Um, but no, I follow the little Utz girl because I have a lot of nostalgia for that brand. While I eat another pretzel.
We are in the Age of Dragons. A whole lot of dragons attacking us. And they are not as difficult as the Lava Lizard. Nowhere near as hard as those freaking Balrons. Although the Balrons are really only difficult because they put you to sleep. <laughs> Mike, no! <clears throat> I don't want dragons that gate in demons just for fun. How do I not, like... I definitely played 5. I know I played 5. I know I played 5 more than once. I really don't remember much. Well, we scared off one of the dragons. <clears throat> Who knew that in order to become more compassionate, I would need to go out and kill a lot of things? Start by going to the castle and checking on our compassion level. I have 666 hit points and I'm asleep. Passion requires murder, or at least severe bodily harm. Alright. Welcome, Aokar. I am Hawkwind, Seer of Souls. Be that which is within thee, and drives thee to deeds of good or evil. For what path dost thou seek enlightenment? Keep giving away your money. Not surprise. Let's go give lots of money to the beggars in town. There is a beggar. I know there. I wonder how much I should give. Really? So I shouldn't... Okay. them lots and lots of money and then I suppose that makes sense but at the same time
bastards in my way. Dupree is now level six. And we got healed by the king. One of those things that's supposed to assure that you're just generally a good person instead of trying to game the system. Which is why we stand around and pass turns in the speedrun or play deadly tag with the guard. <laughs> One last pretzel. I have to move them though, or I will keep eating them. Adventures of Tony! How are you? I will... I will do my stretch. <clears throat> I hydrate. Check on my posture. Thank you. Welcome in. I hope that you are feeling okay today. Alright, we are still apparently not compassionate enough. Let's go give more money to the beggars. Ninety-nine, a good amount to be giving. I assume it's going to be a total overall gold given. And Ninety-nine seems to be the most I can give. I'm just running around. I don't know how many turns I have to wait. Give. I could just repeatedly go give the gold, then run back to the castle and check to see if I've given enough gold until I've given enough gold. Not exactly how it was meant to be done, but I have to pass until I wake up. Alright. Continued goodwill. Not there yet. You know, this would be easier if there were beggars in the castle. Trying to verify on your iPad and still waiting on the code. <clears throat> Trying to verify your email? confused. 
Yeah, I, I'm confused. I don't know. I, I know I have it set up to require verified emails. I don't have it set up to require verified um, phone number. <clears throat> yeah, chat is supposed to be set to verified email. Hopefully that's all it was asking you for. I love when Twitch does unexpected things, said no one ever, A at least meaning, meaning it. <clears throat> Wait, we give more money. I am hopeful that we will not have to go and do a lot more fighting in order to get more money to give away. Uh, but we'll find out. Because so far we've given away half of what we earned today. Still not there. Oh! Tony, you don't have to apologize for talking in the chat. Uh, it's not an interruption. I'm glad that you're here. At the moment, it's nothing thrilling. We're, tr we're repeatedly giving money to this beggar trying to boost our compassion score enough so that I can go to the shrine and meditate. Because uh, it is the last virtue that I need to achieve in this game. <clears throat> Talk. Compassion. Still not there. We have given this beggar, like, more than a thousand gold at this point. I see a testing message, Tony. Woes overcome. He perks words. Honestly, like, I would say a good half of my Twitch watching is on my iPad. Um, there are some streamers that I typically will watch on the computer. Most of the time, if I'm watching, it's on my iPad. Oh, I'm never going to get this one. <clears throat> Apple TV so you can project. Um, there's a Twitch app for Apple TV. Um... Uh, works fairly well. Uh, it's not great for chat. But... So if I'm watching on the Apple TV, then I will typically have uh, the iPad up as well muted so that I can use my iPad keyboard to uh, participate in chat. But honestly, most of the time when I'm watching, I'm playing a game at the same time, so I'm not super active in chat, but...
Uh, I don't know. There used to not be an app for Apple TV, but then Twitch released an official app for Apple TV. Um, we have the current, like the latest version of the Apple TV, but we installed that app uh, with the previous version. I think I'm gonna have to kill more monsters so I can get more gold to keep giving money to this beggar to prove that I'm a compassionate person. to the shrine and meditate for three cycles! Woo! That is awesome sauce. It took a lot of gold. I still don't know where my boat is. Which means should check and see what magical spells I have available because I'm definitely going to get poisoned on the way to the shrine and on the way back from the shrine. I have five cures. Hopefully that's enough. I, I, I will save here just in case it turns out not to be enough. I'm letting them stay poisoned for now. Wait, I'm a silly butt. I'm gonna reload. I can get there without getting poisoned. Yeah, no point curing them if you have to walk over the swamps again, but I have a boat on the eastern shore of Bach Lake, <clears throat> so I can avoid the poison altogether. I just forgot that I had it. Which is why I saved, so that I could, uh, Avoid getting poisoned if I could avoid getting poisoned. Hello, boat. Hello, my boaty. Hello, my boaty. Hello, my pretty boat. I have no idea. I don't know. That's just what came out of my mouth. <clears throat> the swamps are annoying. No. What? The water's too shallow. Well. Okay. I just have to go to where that skeleton is. Boat! Let the skeleton attack! Here we go! Yay! Okay. 
just a few skeletons to kill, and then we can be compassionate. And we can ask about the mystic arms and mystic armor because we will have all eight parts of Avatar Hood. And like, once we've pulled that hood over our head, then um, everybody will help us because they'll like us a lot. Because I guess the hood looks really good. I don't know. Sorry, I know that was very silly. <clears throat> Enter shrine. Compassion. Recycles. This is the first shrine we found. The first virtue we meditated on. This is the virtue associated with our home city of Britain. It is the last one we're getting. Um... What? No, that's the wrong one. Crap. Uh, nope, we're loading. I typed the wrong one. It's Moo. <laughs> no, I don't want to have to do spirituality again. <laughs> Good thing I saved. Uh, I should pay more attention. Cows are the most compassionate animals, after all. Now I'm just thinking of um, a song from Rent with all the mooing in it. Enter boat. I'm on your wall. Oh dear. I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> I assume your television is on your wall. I've never mounted a, ta a TV on a wall. Okay, this time I'm saving before I do it because... Jeepers. Passion. Three cycles. Mantra. Double check. We are doing compassion. The mantra is Moo. I think we got it. I think we got it. That's two. <clears throat> Final one. What's it gonna say when we finish an eighth one? Thou hast achieved partial avatarhood in the virtue of compassion. Thou art granted a vision. We had already guessed what this one was gonna be, but uh, I will write it down just for Complete note-taking day. Ah, Sean. And we know that with all of the letters together, by their power combined, we have infinity! Uh... <clears throat> yeah. I'm not 100% certain what we need to know that word for, but we know it. 
And we have the full Ankh in the middle. <coughs> I'm an eight-part avatar! And we do the skeleton fight again. For Simon and Lady Tessa in pause, wanted to talk to you. Yes! That is in my notes. So how you be compassionate is, first, you make a heck of a lot of money. And then, you give all that money away. According to this game, that is how you be, how you be compassionate. But if you don't make a, a, a lot of money, then you just need to have people, or get in random fights with people and let them run away. That also is apparently how you become compassionate. As long as they're good people. You get in fights with bad people, you need to not let them run away or you will not be valorous. Alright, board the boat. Avoid the swamps. Save the game. And head back south so we can get to pause. Oh, jeez, a demon. I can't run away. Because I don't want to lose my eighth of valor. Plus, still need levels. Come on, we got this. Got it. Come on, Julia. Mariah, you need to kill some things. Thing for you, Jeffrey. You're behind. You're like way behind in the class. You need to like step up your murdering skills. Don't think of it as murdering either. Like, if you're killing animated skeletons, they were already dead. So it's not actual murder. <clears throat> Ooh, in our uh, in my D and D game, we did finally play. We played on Saturday, uh, and we leveled up at the end of the game. So I will be a level three cleric of death because I'm taking a third level in cleric, and will finally have um, my racial ability uh, as a scourge Asimar. Um, to basically radiate light through all of the openings in my body, and that light will damage people. Um, which is good. Uh, I'm looking forward to level four though, because there's a feat from Fizbins that I think makes perfect sense for my character. Um, that essentially would let my character manifest wings that are basically wings of light that can be used as shields, um, which seems perfect for my character being a Scourge Asimar. Um, so looking forward to that. But for now, level three, we made it to level three and didn't die, which was not guaranteed in the least. Uh, in fact, I went unconscious this, uh, this session. Um, I, others may have as well. I don't remember. Um, it was... What are we fighting? Oh, a druid. Um, oh yeah, we're playing Frostmate. Rhyme of the Frostmate. <clears throat> and, uh, Encountered... Might as well heal while I'm here. 
Um, encountered a druid that had been awakening animals. Uh, and got into a fight with her. And... Oh boy! She was a much higher level than we were. But we succeeded in the end. What does he say now? Oh. He just asks the name. <clears throat> Thou hast become a partial avatar in that attribute. Thou need not my insight. Alright, I guess it's time to head to pause. Let's take pause. Actually, uh, also, I like this in yellow. And a little excess here so I know. I did the thing! I did the thing! Alright, um... So, we need to talk to Lady Tessa and Sir Simon in pause. And then to Zircon and Minoc. After we fight these demons. Demons aren't so bad. It's when they have Balrons with them that they're truly scary. here so you can attack these things. Yes, yes. Shoot the shoot. Kill the demons. You have the power! One of these two characters is going to get the killing blow on this demon. Either that or it's going to run away. <clears throat> Either Jeffrey or Aokan. Because they need the experience point. Got it. Ooh, 92 gold. That's not bad. Alright. To pause we go, to pause we go. Follow the course. Face ghost, coast to coast. This has nothing to do with space ghost. That just pops into my head when I say the word coast. Orky poos. I'm going to shoot you and you're going to die. <coughs> yes, you are. I'm going to kill you. Oh, but you're not orcs. You're trolls because this is a bridge. See, it's always trolls at the bridge. They have a very similar sprite to the orcs. 
But if you're ever wondering whether you're fighting orcs or trolls, if you're standing on a bridge, they're trolls. Oh, no, I didn't mean to... No! Absolutely not! I didn't even fully hit that button. But jeez, that's fast! One party member ran away and it took away Valor? I am not accepting that. We are starting that over. All right. To pause we go. Once you're a partial avatar, you have to be basically perfect. Well, it's not like I tried to run away. I just... My finger partly hit the uh, left arrow, and the compute keyboard decided I had depressed the left arrow key rather than the down arrow. Ouch. Woo! Double hydro. Double Hydra Lava Lizard! Double Hydra Lava Lizard! Double Hydra Lava Lizard! Try saying that three times fast. It's not easy. <clears throat> Double Hydra Lava Lizard! Double Hydra Lava Lizard! Double Hydra Lava Lizard! If anybody's near the edge, I have to be super careful about which buttons I press. <clears throat> Not need that experience. Okay. So, in the previous games, it wasn't possible to run away. In this game, if you run away, you just lose the game. So they went from, you simply can't run away, to, we'll punish you if you do. That was a good shot! You're improving. in 
then cross the bridge and we'll be practically at pause. All because, like, pause being a super important location, there's no moon gate. You have to go overland to pause. Or over water. One of the two. And they're both infested with monsters. Oh, so many monsters. <clears throat> no! I hate when I push the wrong button. But I do it quite often. So, you know. Another! It's okay. I need the experience points. I thought I was exiting the bridge, but it didn't let me leave the bridge. Instead, I got attacked by trolls again! Do not just see what happened to the other party of trolls that was here just before you. Literally, we are fighting on their body. And you somehow think that you can defeat where they fell before me? You're pathetic. You're not going to be able to damage me. You're barely even no worth notice. Having successfully fixed captions on a video. Quick break for making a latte is required. Then you can stop lurking. Always visit Taylor the Latte Boy. The latte boy, bring me java, bring me joy. Those are not the right notes, but that's okay because <clears throat> at the moment my throat is pretty raw, but I still don't want a DMCA strike for singing Taylor the Latte Boy. Uh, so those were the right words, but they were not exactly the proper tune. Uh, and you... I, I doubt there's anybody in chat who's ever heard the song Taylor the Latte Boy. But... <coughs> I have! So now you know it exists. And we're attacked by orcs. The Latte Boy Each of it is a very silly song. I encourage you to go and listen to it. I mean, not super silly. <clears throat> it's essentially like a narrative song of someone who goes to a coffee shop to get their latte and basically just has a crush on the guy that makes the lattes. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. If you do have a music service, like say Spotify or Apple Music, and you choose to check out the song, I would highly recommend listening to the version by Susan Egan. Uh, I believe the album is called Coffee House and Deepers. I stepped back onto the bridge to pick up the treasure chest and got attacked by more trolls! This trip to pause is full of pauses. Thank <laughs> you. 
got this. Just two more trolls. And then we're ready for pause. Well, and an F. I mean, it's not like they're gonna win. Battle is a foregone conclusion at this point. Many trolls. Gotta go hard on the self-care when they're when they're around. I will uh, I will do the hydrate in just a second. The cat has decided to nap on the clean flannel shirt. Oh no! I mean, they like it because it's. Why would they wouldn't want to like nap on the not clean thing? <clears throat> I was fine today until I took my allergy medicine and then uh, my nose was just like, hey, you know what would be great if I make you cough a lot so that you've got a raw throat when you go live for your stream. Uh, okay, I think we're done with trolls for now. Thank you for the hydrate. I am drinking my beverage right now. <sighs> okay, we made it to pause. <coughs> I think I'm here. There it is. Time to do a new phrase you coined, which tower and put on a brand new clean shirt before a friend came over. She thought I had recently huddled with your cat because I was covered in fur by the time she arrived. That's just ambient fur. Oh my god. <clears throat> I have not heard that phrase, but I know exactly what it means. Ambient fur. Alright. We are here. Tell us of the mystic. Mystics by an eight parts avatar. Yes, that is me. The mystic weapons lie in the training room of Serpent Castle. <clears throat> and you couldn't tell me that before? Because? Training room. Of Serpent Castle. Literally in the air. <clears throat> the mystic armor lies in the center of the oak grove. Presently here, Serpent Castle is here, I believe. Center of the Oak Row. Guessing that's going to be here in you. And we need to go to Minoc up here to ask Zircon. Why do we need to ask Zircon about mystics after becoming an eight part avatar when we 
just were told where they were. I'm uncertain about that. <clears throat> but we can't get to the serpent island or to the serpent place without our freaking boat. So I need to find the boat. Your own fault for not hanging it up. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, Kira, two feet above shelf level. <laughs> All right. The quest for the boat begins now. It doesn't have to be my boat. I can always take one from an enemy. To the boat! Where's the boat? I don't know! Find one! <laughs> to a boat! <laughs> yeah, I literally have no idea where we left the boat. Last week we were traveling by Moongate, and I don't know where my boat is. I know where two boats are. One of them that can only sail on uh, Lost Lake, and the other one that is one pile away from us being able to actually get on it. Tile tag for a boat. <laughs> okay, I'm enjoying this song. Anyone know where anyone left a boat? What's a boat? Well, it's a B with an O-A between that and a T. That's what a boat I don't know. I really don't know what the nonsense is that comes out of my mouth sometimes. <clears throat> it's the best of all things! Or the best of all time. Uh, just like the goat is the greatest of all time, the boat is the best of all time. <clears throat> Hopefully I just left it at Trinsic and it'll be super easy, but I have no... around this little river too. Finally done with work! Yay! Puddle Glum! Welcome! I'm happy that you are done with work and you can have a weekend now. Oh no. Oh dear. You know what's gonna happen now? Because... It, it, well, you might not know. Uh, there's a song. There's a song in my brain, and it's all about boat. I have a magic boat. <laughs> I don't know all the words. Sorry, it's not my song. Um, but oh my God, if you get the chance to hear Jason Charles Miller sing the "I'm a Magic Boat" song, um. 
We should definitely take it. It is a one of the many songs from the Gax Pack uh, TTRPG actual play um, from the Gary Khan Live channel. Uh, it's amazing. So they have a literal bard as the GM. Jason Charles Miller is the GM for that game. And there's a new song every episode, and they're original songs written by JCM <coughs> for the Gax Pack. Um, and they are... They're hilarious. And he definitely needs to put them out uh, on, like, an album. <laughs> Puddle them. um... I took Latin in high school for no real reason. I took French in eighth grade, and then I got to high school, and I could have continued with French, but I chose to take Latin instead. And that is the extent of it. Just gonna hop in the gate and go wherever it takes me. Because I'm trying to find... Where is the boat? Where did I leave my boat? Uh, and I did... I, I want to say I did three years of Latin in high school. Uh, for no reason except that I wanted to take Latin because it sounded interesting. Right, the boat is not here. Did I leave the boat up at the northern end of this island. It did indeed help. I did leave my boat up here. Oh. Um. Yeah, I, I literally, I took Latin just because I wanted to take Latin. I can't believe I found the boat. Um... Is this where the pirates... No, it's Magincia! Go to Magincia at the moment. Silica has struck from the shadows and landed a critical hit! Welcome back! Great job on your stealthing! Hi, Simsilica! Yeah, no, I should... Use the wheel? Oh! It does work! Thank you! Didn't know I could use it. I try. I thought I tried using it again last week, and it didn't do any good. <clears throat> the wheel of boats. All right. To get to Magencia. Islands north of Trinsic. Start. I'm writing this down. <laughs> so that I can always know how to get there. Well, I mean, I could just take the noon gate. You have to have exactly 50 in order to use the wheel. Gotcha. I can just take the moon gate to get there. I don't need to write that down. Never mind! All right, all right, all right. We just got the boat. Don't leave now. Um, I don't need the. I I need the boat to get to Serpent Castle. So that's where we're headed. Hello, Zorn. I don't think I get any experience for killing those 
them with the boat's fire goodbye. Alright, we have now passed Princess. I'm hitting the wrong button. <clears throat> oh, come on. East wind when I'm trying to go east almost all the time. Very frustrating. Not where I think I am? Ha! Huh, I am exactly where I thought I was! Huzzah! Serpents! I should have looked to see if I had keys before I came here. I think I do. Eight keys. I do. Um. Where did I need to go? Training room. Open the door. Training room. I suppose I just need to search the training room? <clears throat> They're probably going to be in the center. Unless I'm supposed to talk to somebody, I could maybe be supposed to talk to somebody. Nope. They do not know. Just have to search. I mean... These, these fighters... And, like, the people training in this room have never found them? That seems rather... rather... rather odd. I suppose because they're not eight-part avatars. They can't... I don't understand how this works. Probably gonna be dead center. <clears throat> you find mystic weapons. It just went looking. Staff, sling, mace, axe, sword, oil. And something. I'm guessing P is the weapon? The mystic weapons? Mystic swords? I mean, it makes the battles last slightly longer by them not being ranged, and it definitely makes boat battles ridiculously annoying, but if they're going to hit more often, I think it's worth it. <clears throat> Ready? Mystic Sword. Ready? Mystic Sword. Everybody gets a Mystic Sword. You get a Mystic Sword. You get a Mystic Sword. Everybody gets 
a mystic sword. Everybody is. Now I've got everybody wants to be a cat in my head. But with the lyrics, everybody gets missed. What are you forgetting on your grocery list? Um, do you have breakfast items? Do you have lunch items? Do you have dinner items? Do you have a snack item? <clears throat> Snacks are important. Uh, and did you remember something for uh, dessert? That's how I go through, like, have I covered breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and dessert? Those five things. If I've got all of those, then I, I should be good. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, we got the mystic weapons. We got the mystic weapons! Um. Keepers, I didn't even have a list for these. Mystic Weapon. Um, uh, uh. Alright, Mystic Weapons are a go! Those two, they're not good. Armor. Next up, Turkey Day Ingredients. Good. Honestly, yeah, if you, I don't know where you're located, Puddle Glum, but if you're in the U.S. and you plan on doing anything food-related for um, the Thanksgiving holiday, now would be a very good time to acquire some of those ingredients, especially if you have space in your freezer to put a frickin' turkey, now's the time to get it. <clears throat> because... This year is going to be just as bizarre as last year with availability of things at the grocery store. So if you want that turkey, it's probably best to get it now and go ahead and keep it in your freezer instead of relying on the grocery store to have it later. Well, the weapons might hit strongly, but I have to be able to hit things first. Yes, supply chain has been sucky all around. I have a book coming out. Um, and it kind of needs to come out in 2022 uh, because it is for the sesquicentennial of the place that I work. Um, and at the moment, our anticipated release date is in March of 2022. <clears throat> but, uh... We've heard there may, like, be ready for delays because uh, the publishing industry is struggling with a lack of paper for printing books. Rediscovering freezer contents earlier when putting Wait, groceries, I don't know why I have so many bags of cranberries. Yeah, I still have to be able to hit them. Which I'm not good at. Ooh, stuffing. I have... I don't even know. It's probably just a stuffing recipe that came from, like, a Campbell's can. Because, like, so many of the things I grew up eating came from the, um, the packages. Um... But they are, like, there is a stuffing that is the, my preferred stuffing that uses a can of, like, Campbell's cream of celery soup on some, uh, basically, like, a loaf of white bread that you've allowed to get stale. Not, like, crouton hard, but just, like, slightly stale and torn apart into strips, and then you've got some spices and a can of cream of celery soup, and... Other stuff like that, and oh my god, it is the best stuffing ever. Um, dressing. Because it never actually goes inside the bird. But, <clears throat> anyway. Uh, so, um, 
I am one of the listed authors on the book, Tony. Uh, it is a sesquicentennial book featuring images from special collections uh, for Virginia Tech's 150th. Um, so, yes, I have a book coming out in March, or at least planned to come out in March. Um, not really promoting it yet, but it is listed on both Barnes and Noble and Amazon now. And I am listed as one of the authors, although you will not find the name Rogan on there anywhere. Um, because it is, like, my actual name, because it is from work. Um, which I, I mean, I say my actual name on this stream every Wednesday when I stream for work. Uh, so... If you search for Anthony Wright de Hernandez as author, you should be able to find it on Barnes & Noble or on Amazon. Um, it's called uh, No Ordinary Moment. Uh, Virginia Tech, 150 years and 150 images, something like that. I don't remember the subtitle exactly. <coughs> <laughs> It has been a long time coming. We started it in fall of 2019, and uh, the, we were significantly delayed by uh, the inability to access our collections for quite a long period of time um, during 2020. Uh, but. It's mostly done, we're just waiting for the proofs to come from the publisher so that we can give like a final okay and then I think it'll be done. It'll be nice to have it off of my plate. I also am waiting for like my last academic like article to come out. I have a peer reviewed article that is supposed to be coming out. Um, at this point I don't know when. It was supposed to be published in August. Uh, the journal has not published their second issue. So we went through the peer review process, we wrote the article, we got everything's done. Uh, we're just waiting for the second issue of this journal to actually get published and I will have another journal article published. Um, that said, I don't know when that's gonna happen. So. Oh, green bean casserole. Ah! My husband really likes the green bean casserole. I don't tend to like it because I don't like the, um, the crispy onion things. What are they? I, I don't even know what they are that get put on top of it. <clears throat> Without those, the green bean casserole would be fine. I like green beans. I like the cream with mushroom soup and everything else like that. But the the, like, the fried onion things. The crispy fried onions, I don't like them. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna leave the boat here, I think. Take the moon gate from here. Where is here? Scarabry! I should make a note of where we leave the boat. Also, I should see if there's food available in Scarabry. Uh, let me put a uh, note here. The boat. My favorite, um, my favorite Thanksgiving dish was always scalloped corn. Um, which... Not everybody has heard of, so I'll explain it in just a second. Alright. The boat is at Scarabry. I made a note of the boat. <laughs> Best place for food! Yay! Uh, so scalloped corn is literally just... You take a can of, like, whole kernel corn, 
and drain it. And a can of creamed corn. Put them together in a, in a casserole dish that can go in the oven. Uh, dot the top with little pats of butter. And then um, crush, like, saltine crackers on the top. And sprinkle it all over. And bake it. So it's just creamed corn with some whole kernel mixed in. With butter and saltines on top, baked. And that is my favorite, like, uh, Thanksgiving dish that we had growing up. Um, I, I really like scalloped corn. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, please, I will take some rations, please. How many would I like? Um... 25 for 20 gold, so that's, uh, 5 for 100. Woohoo! I have 928 food! And, and because those are the ingredients, basically you just have to cook it until it's hot. Because they're all already cooked. Like, so you can stick it in at whatever your oven temperature is. <clears throat> no, yeah, there's no cheese added. It's, I was not worth it. Um, it's just the, the corn, the creamed corn and the uh, the saltines, basically, with some butter. Um. <clears throat> uh. And I'm sure it came from, like, the label of some sort of package. <clears throat> but it is, it is my favorite. Um. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going. Where did I end up? I just hopped in. I didn't pay attention. Where am I? I'm at Shalom. Never had any traditional dishes for Thanksgiving, although in more recent years we've been having cornbread casserole. Cool. Yeah, you could definitely add cheese. Or some peppers or stuff like that, yeah. Alright, so if I... I'm in Jalome. <clears throat> Except now I'm not. <clears throat> I'm at... No... I, I need to just pause and wait and read the map for where I want to go instead of... I was like, but the moon gate is open now, I should go through, and I should actually pay attention to where I'm going uh, instead of doing that. So, yeah. Also, I forgot I couldn't attack from a distance. Because um, I was paying more attention to chat than I was to the game, which is totally fine. Just, oops. Um. Bells. Everybody needs bells. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna enter town. I'm in Moonglow. <clears throat> Probably gonna have to work on Thanksgiving. Not super psyched about. Hopefully, you'll be able to get together with family later. Um, I'm probably gonna end up going to my in-laws for Thanksgiving. I'm not super thrilled about traveling anywhere and visiting with anyone. <clears throat> but honestly, that's me every year. I would rather just stay home um, and like have a phone call with people than travel and visit with people. So... <clears throat> Make stuff out of sticks and shells to get more bells. 
I um I am picking my gold and blue roses and selling the blossoms for bells. And actually doing my money tree again. I had stopped that for a long time. Alright, I'm in Moonglow. I want to go to you. So I go through first when it is a crescent waxing, which will take me to Britain. And from Britain, I go through when it is gibbous waxing to get to you. No Thanksgiving in Germany. Um, do you have a harvest festival though? Because that's essentially what Thanksgiving is. It is a harvest festival. You don't have one. Interesting. I kind of had assumed that every culture had a harvest festival. That is very interesting that you, that you don't have one. Oh, Rykar, um, I hope that you have a good rest of your weekend as well. Thank you for coming by. <clears throat> Oktoberfest. <laughs> I would think, I don't, so I don't know the tradition, like, I know of Oktoberfest. I don't know, like, the reason behind October. I think I just missed, I didn't go through when I needed to go through. I didn't. I need to wait for the next cycle. Or go overland. I could go overland. Cross through the mountains somehow. Probably getting a lot of fights on the way there, but I could use the gold and the experience. I'm also likely to get lost in the frickin' dark woods. Deep woods, whatever they're called. Alright, I need the map. Map map. <clears throat> Oh, Vic! Vic moved to your island. Cute. I have some villagers that I don't mind, but wouldn't mind if they left. I have some villagers that I really like and really don't want them to leave. And then I have uh, one villager that just needs to get the heck out. I tend to like the lazy villagers, but I already have like three of them. And I can't get rid of any of them because they're too adorable. I have, um, I have Bo, I have Eric, I have uh, what's his name? The the blue bunny rabbit that is a an inflatable. In the back of his head, he has like the plug for being an inflatable. I can't think of his name right now. Um, those are my lazy villains. The one that I'm like ambivalent about, and I'm just like, eh, they could go, and I wouldn't be mad. Um, is Megan the large bear. I don't I don't really like the big like adult sized bears. I prefer I'd prefer like one of the bear cubs. Um and she's a normal type, which is not super entertaining. I actually liked the characters that I started with, but I kicked them off the island because their buildings would never upgrade. Um and so I wanted fully done buildings for my villagers, so I had to let my first three go, um, <clears throat> so that all of my villagers would have full buildings. All of your villagers are stuck on your island forever.
I can't think of his name. Somebody tell me what my bunny's name is. Uh, he's blue. Hopkins. His name is Hopkins. Um, and like I couldn't get rid of any of the three of them. Bo was my first lazy, and he's stupid adorable. Um, I can't get rid of Eric. Eric has the ice, like the inside of his place is ice. He's part of the reason I wanted all of like the ice DIYs that I never got because those stupid snowmen wouldn't give them to me. Um, and then. Like, Hopkins is, is just an adorable, cute little blue inflatable bunny. How could I ever get rid of Hopkins? Um, and then I have I have Jacques. I have Megan. I have uh, Raymond. I have Lucky. And, oh my god, I can't get rid of Lucky. Lucky is um, a mummy dog. And, I mean, Raymond, everybody wants Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. Um, I got Raymond the first time I did a villager hunt. He was on the third island I went to. <clears throat> and, and he's cute. A little cat. Um, and then I have Nibbles. The, the snowmen were so aggravated. I literally stopped playing it for almost a year because of the freaking snowmen. Because I, the one thing I had been waiting for, the thing I was so excited for, was the ice DIYs. I desperately wanted the ice DIYs. That was the thing I wanted most. Those were the furniture pieces I wanted to decorate my island with. And I couldn't make a snowman that was a perfect snowman. I just couldn't do it. I read all of the walkthroughs of people telling you how to do it. I couldn't do it. And so I couldn't get the DIYs to make the furniture that I wanted to make for my island. And I quit playing because of it. Um... So I'm just now back in the game. Oh, Tia? Or no. I have Tia on my island. I don't know who the coffee cup elephant is. Um, is the oak grove not in Center of the oak grove. Where is the oak grove? in Empath Abbey. Okay. I thought it was going to be here. Because in the last game it was here. It's okay. Uh, we'll head over to the eight here and go back to Scarabride? Or no. I'm near Empath Abbey, right? Or is this the Lyceum? Should I get to Moonglow to get to Empath Abbey? Just head southwest. <clears throat> I couldn't remember which one was Empath Abbey and which one was the Lyceum. Oh, I had D.Va. D.Va was one of my starters. I kicked her off because her her uh, house was completely bare and was never going to be completed unless I made her go. Elmer, O'Hare, Kid, Gloria, Flora, Megan, Belle, Julia, and Billy. I don't know who all of them are, but... Yeah, I know the general area of where the thing was. I just didn't remember if it was the Lyceum or Empath Abbey. Sure. 
Disturb is cute. There are some of them that I, I think the concept is cute and like I would enjoy having them on my island, but they're a, they're basically adult. Uh like like with the, the bears. Like some of the, the bears are neat, but the bear cubs are so much cuter, and why would I ever want one of the bears when I could have one of the bear cubs? Um and I kind of feel that way about the rhinos. I don't really like the rhinos, but I like the idea of the one that is like has like a strawberry for the horn. But also I don't really want that character on my island because I don't generally like the rhinos at all. So many freaking mages! Why they gotta attack me like this? I basically only ever get ones that I don't like in my campsite. So I have I generally have bad luck period. So in that game where so much of the stuff relies on luck, I don't really get very much good luck. Um I got the good luck with Raymond before I ever knew that anybody cared about Raymond. You were sad when Sherb left you. But you got Meringue in exchange. And she's never allowed to leave you, nor is... I might be willing to let Hopkins go. Oh, it would be a tough call, but I could probably let Bo go. But Eric is never allowed to leave because Eric is the reindeer and has the ice interior of his house. Avatar! Alright, go north. Enter Empath Abbey! Let's get some armor for you people. Uh, Jimmy the Lock, open the door in the center of the oak grove. What is the center? You found the mystic armor! I got the mystic armor! I have eight mystic bows for my adventurers to wear. Huzzah, huzzay, hooray, hooray. Uh, wear. Mystic robe. Wear. Everybody put on your mystic robe. You get a robe, and you get a robe, and you get a robe, and you get a robe. to battle, so let's put these new robes to the test. I hope that 
that improves our ability to not be hit at all. It is currently 6.26 p.m. This is your lazy Saturday warning since you can end whenever you want. Thank you for the notice, though, because I had no idea it was that late. Yeah, I, I think it is reducing my chance to be hit. How much XP do I need before I can recruit the last person? I currently have 6,348 XP and am level 7. Is it at 7,000 XP? 6,400 to get to... Oh, we're walking to Britain. We are walking to Britain because by the time we get there, we can get the last, we can get enough XP for the last person. Or actually, we may just walk to the moon gate because we might have to battle enough people between here and there to get that XP. The thing that I don't like about the amiibo cards and the amiibos themselves is that it's a physical item. If it was a code I could buy to do the same thing, uh, I would totally do that. I don't have a need for the amiibo. So, since it's just the digital content part that I want, I would rather just be able to buy a code for the digital content. Alright, if I go north and... No, I still don't have enough. Well, we'll walk to Britain if we're not quite to the level that we need to be when we get there, that's fine. We're not far away from having enough XP. And we will be ending very shortly. So, regardless of whether I can level up or not, we will end at first. We did pretty good for ourselves today. We managed to uh, become the eight-part avatar by getting the virtue of compassion. Um... No, no. Okay, that's what I wanted. Um, <clears throat> and we got the mystic arms and the mystic armor. So. I know that we need to enter dungeon and collect stone. And hopefully we can start on that next. I don't actually know what all of, well, what all that entails. So, uh, and I don't know how long that will take us once we start it. Because I have not paid any attention to any information about dungeons up to this point. But my hope is that we start next week by going to get our final party member who has missed the entire adventure. Oh, and... Gotta go faster if you want to catch me, demon. I say that as I become extremely slowed down. Uh-oh. Front row. Get 
yay some reagent. So when lots of heals, cures may be awakened. Remmer, if you can find Mandrake, exit just in case, and maybe Y up and Z down. Okay, you're making me very scared of going into the dungeons. I felt like I did lots of preparing. Mystics make dungeoneering easier. Okay, so it sounds like dungeons are going to be really similar to dungeons in the previous games. And that they're going to stress me the heck out. <clears throat> it's okay though, we will... We will get through them. I have, to this point in this game, mostly avoided gathering all the reagents because I actually find... Having to quest for the ingredients for spells really tedious and annoying. Um, so I've kind of ignored them, even though I like spellcasters and I like the idea behind the class and stuff like that, but also just let me go to a magic shop and buy everything I need instead of making me go out and quest to search for the powerful ingredients. Uh, but I understand. That's how this game functions. So, you know, I may not like it, but that's how the game is. Um, they're like Dungeons and 3, but smaller and better designed. Okay, that's good. You can buy everything other than Mandrake and Nightshade. But the Mandrake and Nightshade are actually necessary for some of the important spells. <clears throat> The question is, how much Mandrake and Nightshade do I get when I actually go to recover it uh, by questing? Oh yeah, I need to make a lot of dispel wheels. I basically need a lot of money to buy a lot of reagents and a lot of food. So next week might be a lot of this, because this is the only way to earn money. Okay, I can get a lot of money in the dungeon. But I I need the stuff to prepare for the dungeon. Or do they get are they like in previous games where like the top level is easier and you can use that to farm for money and then the lower levels um become harder and you need the actual preparation for? I hope it's like that. All right, I think I can level up. Open door, head up and see the king. Level eight! <clears throat> Mariah's up to level four. Nice. Different challenge levels depend on the dungeon. Mostly you get wrecked because you get stuck away from your path out more than because you've gone too deep. Pretty brutal rooms in the bottom. Okay. <sighs> it's only taken a few months to get to this point in the game. Save. Uh, that is where we will leave. 
the questing for today. Um, hit the right screen here. <clears throat> I do want to thank everybody for coming by. It has been uh, a lot of fun. Um, thank you for bearing with my uh, my scratchy throat and whatnot. Um, I, I, I enjoy hanging out with you and I've been enjoying playing these. Um, it's been a long road getting from Ultima 1 to here. Indeed, just here for coffee. <laughs> Um, I'm glad that you all enjoy coming. I enjoy having you come in and keep company while I play these games. I'm going to go ahead and start the credits. Um, oh, nope. There we go. Um, and we will be raiding, so if you want to hang around for that, um, check and just make sure. Yep. Uh, so Bree is on, so we will definitely be raiding over to Bree Danan, who is a, um, friend of the channel and who... Uh, does lovely art streams, um, and was the artist who made Disco Thulu. So, um, let me go ahead and say thanks, uh, in the credits here, um, so next time they go by, I will read them. Um, but Meaning of Night, Sirius, and Bri Danan for the emotes and was not worth it. Thank you so much for being a subscriber on Coffee. Thank you to Rykar01 for the, um, thank you Kira and Chandra for being moderators in chat today. Uh, Liz Doodles, thank you so much for the follow. Fluidan, thank you for the resub. And Librarian Liz, thank you so, so much for the raid. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the raid over to Bri Tanan, uh, who is, uh, as I said, a wonderful streamer who um, is also part of the broader Streampunks community. So uh, if, if you've been with this raid train since uh, the lovely earlier today, um, I'm going to continue the tradition of raiding into another person who is associated by uh, a actual association or just active fan of the Streampunks. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you all for coming. Thank you so, so much. I will be live again tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, for a continuation of my Mass Effect playthrough. Um, Fox do change tonight, so... Um, just keep that in mind, and I hope that I see some of you tomorrow. Otherwise, I will be returning for more Ultima next Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we will pick up from here, uh, go and grab our final party member in Magincia, and try out some dungeon ring. Until then, get out there and do some shenanigans. <laughs>